All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do a wet, humid floor and blender like this one. This is actually very simple to do. It, it is probably one of the most basic thing, things to learn how to do in Blender. Um, it honestly, if you're gonna do an animation and you're gonna do like I, like I did on my preview, add a logo or some type of object, add some light to it. It honestly looks super cool. The way it reflects on the on the floor, you can see certain areas is more visible, and then certain areas are more you know blurry. And I think it's super cool to do. So let's just jump into it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of our defaults. Um, we're gonna go and shift A and add a plane. That plane, essentially what we're gonna wanna do is go to shading, the shading tab, click new to add a new material. The base color, set it to black. Shift A to add a uh, color ramp. And shift A again to add a noise texture. Make sure you select the second one. Fact to fact and the color to the roughness like so and um, once you have this you could go ahead and play with the scale detail roughness and distortion of it um what i like to do is i like to invert the black with the white so it'll look something like this if you zoom in you can actually see the details a bit better um honestly i want more more less of that clear ref um clear ref reflection so basically i would say maybe somewhere around there works and um you could go ahead and play with the scale so if you're gonna have a bigger environment where you're gonna have a whole bunch of objects and whatnot maybe you'll you'll want to go with the bigger with the larger scale but honestly for this one the um the default settings works maybe make make it a bit small i don't know i think honestly that works let's let's stay at the default the details you could also bring them up a bit and you'll get a bit more of a roughness look um on your um floor or ground um so if you bring that down it'll look like this so honestly i like somewhere around somewhere around five works with me the roughness you can also bring that up and down like so and i i say honestly somewhere around there looks pretty cool distortion um, I don't like to add distortion, but also I'll bring it up by holding shift and click and drag it down a bit Just a bit so it this uh, so it makes the shape a bit more interesting. So somewhere around there looks pretty cool um, And again, you can go ahead and keep playing with the with the color ramp and um, you got a better look Say maybe something like that looks super cool as well And uh, once you have this all you want to do is go to layout um, And layout go to render view view mode and um go to world properties bring this all the way up uh down to black so it looks pitch black shift a add a light because right now we can't see anything at all uh g z bring it up like that somewhere around there works and um then we're gonna go to object data properties and um we're gonna probably set this up at a like almost blue whitish uh, somewhere around there looks pretty cool set the power to 50 and um we're gonna go and go from ev to cycles and uh of course make sure you have gpu compute selected and um honestly that looks pretty cool so now if you go ahead and add uh any type of object maybe we're gonna do an icosphere scale it down like so gz to bring it up like that maybe scale it down even more gz bring it down a bit so if you see when you're doing an animation and you have different camera movements certain areas you'll have a nice clear look of your object or reflection and then on certain areas it'll blur out and you actually can't see them and i think this is super cool you could go ahead and play with the material on the object play with the lights um add more light if you want to you could even add um a volumetric um um shape in here to get some fog going on and again i just think it's super cool easy to do um but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to drop a like down below, comment what you want to see next, subscribe if you're new to the channel, turn on that bell notification uh, button for more content, and um, I'm out.